This is my Kosho Surfer. Uh, I used it about three or four times. The fourth time I started having a problem with the steering. Every time I did open it up after the three or four go outs that I did, every time there seemed to be salt water in the compartment. Not a lot, but I'm sure it was getting around a few things. The propeller works fine. It's just that the steering won't work at all. I've greased everything up inside but that didn't seem to help at all either so you can see that i'm it's just not it just doesn't work when i turn it on at all propeller works fine but no steering when i went online a lot of people seem to think that my servo probably got wet and it's not working anymore and it's going to be this little black box here it seems to be glued in, which I can understand. It's trying to turn the rudder without moving. So I'm gonna to try to pop it off with a screwdriver. I've looked for screws and everything else, but just haven't been able to find any. I do have a brand new one here. Once I do get it off, if I, when I get it off. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. So I've kind of moved all the stuff back. When I look under here, it looks like it's attached almost with like a tarry substance. I was going to take this apart and get this disconnected, but trying to straighten this thing out and push it out of there was pretty hard. So I think I'm just going to try to pop this off first, see what happens from there. It seems to be kind of a tarry like tar tar on there or sticky stuff seems to be wanting to come up though there we go what do you know so there's our servo and it wasn't too bad getting it out of there i don't know if you can see down in there but it's like a tarry kind of substance i'll glue the other one back in so now i'll try to undo this There we go. There's the old one. So, so I just opened the package of the new one, and it looks like it comes with most all of the wiring to just plug into this little plastic contraption. <laughs> it's a plastic bag, and it's protecting a lot of the electronic stuff. All of them are covered in plastic and all the surfers. So it goes right there. So I guess I'll go ahead and unplug that one and see how this little guy plugs into that. So I've unplugged the uh, the old one here. Let me take it out. I've got the new one here. And uh, when you go to plug it in, I noticed that there are some little metal things in there that are probably going to have to connect to this one so you want to make sure when you're plugging it in the metal parts are connecting with those metal parts so you're plugging this new one back in the correct way there we go now that I've got my new one connected up to the little box in there I'll go ahead and attach these the way the old one was on there and uh, match that up. We'll put it back in, see if that solved the problem or not. Okay, I just thought I'd see if it even moves at all. And it does. So good chance that could have been the problem. Let's see if we can get it hooked back up. The other thing is definitely gonna have to cut off a piece, otherwise it rubs. So for some reason they gave you one that's like too long because you only need half of that thing otherwise it hits the bottom of the boat it's not going to work so to cut that off i just use a, you know some clippers cut it fine so now that one matches the old one so i'll go ahead and put that on so putting that back on it's a propeller 
seem to fix the problem. I believe I got my steering back now, so that'll be great. Let's hook that back up and see how that works. Well, as you can see, I got everything back together. Seal this all back up in a little plastic bag. You wanna to try to keep that as dry as possible. And again, I just have to not screw all this down tight enough, and I think that's how water got in there. But, you know, water will get in the easiest way possible. So, my steering's back, and that's what it was. It was a little, what do you call them, salvo <laughs> issue. Okay. So, we're good to go. There you go. I put this on YouTube because I looked everywhere. Literally nobody had how to place one of these on a surfer. They had it all day long on remote cars, but they didn't have anything when it came to replacing that thing on the surfer. So I don't know. I hope this helps. Surf's up. Cowabunga. Later, dude.